Hello everyone, I welcome all of you to the India Metrological Department Daily Weather Briefing. Myself, Dr. Arlolan. As on today, 14th October 2024, let's see the weather briefing. The observed rainfall received in centimeter. Tamil Nadu received very heavy rainfall up to uh, 12 centimeter and Vidarbha received 12 centimeter and heavy rainfall over Saurash and Kutch up to 9 centimeter and West Madhya Pradesh up to 9 centimeter and Madhya pra Maharashtra up to 9 centimeter and the southwest monsoon has further withdrawn from remaining parts of Assam, Meghalaya, entire Arunachal Pradesh, Nagaland, Manipur, Mishram and Tripura and most part of the North Bay of Bengal. The line of withdrawal of southwest monsoon now passes through 18.5 degree north and 92 degree east and 18.5 north and 90 degree east and Gopalpur, Raipur 22.5 north to 79.5 east. Kargaon, Nandarbar and Navsari and then further uh, 20 degree north to 70 degree east. Conditions are favorable for further withdrawal of southwest monsoon from remaining parts of Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Odisha and some more parts of Maharashtra during next two days. Thereafter, southwest monsoon is likely to withdraw from remaining part of the country during subsequent two days. Simultaneously with the setting in of easterly and northeasterly winds over the southern peninsular India, south and adjoining central bay of bengal the northeast monsoon rainfall activity is likely to commence over southeast peninsular region during the same period the depression over central arabian sea moved slowly west northwestward with a speed of 4 km per hour during past 6 hours and lay centered at 8:30 hours ist of today the 14th october over the same region near latitude of 15.8 degree north and longitude of 64.3 degree east about 79, 790 kilometer southeast of Masra, Oman uh, and then 1100 kilometer east of Salaha that also over Oman and uh, 1310 kilometer east of Aligha that is over Yemen it is likely over likely to move west northwestward towards Oman coast and we can gradually into a well marked low pressure area during the next 24 hours. The trough from center of the above depression over central Arabian Sea to Comerian area across the South Kerala and cyclonic circulation over Tamil Nadu between 3.1 km to uh, 5.8 km above mean sea level persist. And then the low pressure area over the southeast Bay of Bengal persisted over the same region at 8.30 hours of today the 14th October and it is likely to move west northwestward and become well marked low pressure area over central parts of south bay of Bengal by 15th October. Thereafter it is likely to continue to move west northwestward towards North Tamil Nadu, Puducherry and adjoining South Andhra Pradesh coast during subsequent two days. A cyclonic circulation lies over west central bay of Bengal of south coastal Andhra Pradesh and extends up to 5.8 km above mean sea level tilt, tilting south westward with height. Prior cyclonic circulation over east Assam and neighborhood now lies over south Assam between 1.5 and 3.1 km above mean sea level. The highlights is like uh, the northeast monsoon rainfall activity is likely to commence over the southeastern peninsula of India around 15th to 16th October. In association with the low pressure area over southeast bay of bengal isolated very heavy to extremely heavy rainfall likely over tamil nadu kerala and south interior karnataka during 14th to 17th october and over coastal andhra pradesh and rail sima during 14th to 16th october this is the under this weather phenomena the following weather advisory have been issued for the next seven days as on today 14th october uh, orange warning has been issued over the Coastal Andhra Pradesh, Rail, Sima and Tamil Nadu and Kerala for the very heavy rainfall activity. Also yellow warning has been issued over the Gujarat, Kongan, Goa and coastal Karnataka and uh, South India Karnataka for the heavy rainfall activity. Also the lightning and thunderstorm activity uh, yellow warning has been issued over the Telangana and the North India Karnataka. Remaining parts are persist with the green warning. There is no adverse weather. And this is for the day 2. Well, for the 15th October, orange warning has been issued over the coastal Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Kerala and Rail Sima also over the South Inter Karnataka. Uh, whereas the Tamil Nadu very likely to receive the extremely heavy rainfall but with the orange warning has been issued over, over that place for the tomorrow. And over the yellow region covers for the lightning and thunderstorm activity with the heavy rainfall over the Kongan Goa region and then Madhya Maharashtra. And this is for the day 3 
uh, warning valid for the 16th October. A red warning has been issued over the Tamil Nadu region for the extremely heavy rainfall activity. And orange warning has been issued over the coastal Andhra Pradesh, Rail Sima, also over the uh, South Inter Karnataka and then Kerala for the very heavy rainfall activity. And heavy rainfall activity over the North Inter Karnataka with the hello warning has been updated. And this is for the day 4, valid well, for the 17th October. Orange warning has been issued over the Tamil Nadu, Rail Sima and South India, Karnataka and Karnataka coast as well as the Kerala for the very heavy rainfall activity and heavy rainfall activity would be over the coastal Andhra Pradesh and then Telangana as well as the North India, Tamil, North India, Karnataka and this is for the day 5 weather warning valid for the 18th October heavy rainfall activity over likely over the Lakshadweep as well as the Kerala region and with the light, uh, lightning and thunderstorm activity over the Tamil Nadu region and over Telangana region also covered with the lightning and activity with a low warning and this is for the day 6 there is no adverse weather so there is no uh, any of the warning color issued and this also for the day 7 there is no adverse weather valid for the 20th October and this is for the fisherman warning graphics based on these two systems lies over the both the Arabian Sea and Bay of Bengal the following weather fishery, fishery weather warning has been issued with a squally weather wind speed uh, 35 to 45 km per per hour gusting to 55 it is covered with the gray area in both the uh, arabian sea and bay of bengal for the next five days arabian sea likely to just given for the day one as on today whereas the bay of bengal starting from today onwards till next five days which is very clearly visible and squally weather with a wind speed of 40 to 50 km per hour gusting to 60 km per hour that also persists over the bay of bengal for the day 3 which is uh, 16th and then day 4 17th over the Tamil Nadu and Andhra coast. Stay tuned. Thank you.